315,000 Florida customers are without power as Ian moves on shore. Duke Energy Florida spokesperson Anna Gibbs joins me live now for more on that part of this story. Anna, thanks for being here. How is Duke Energy monitoring these outages and how long could it take for power to be restored after this hurricane? Well, well, right, right now, Duke, Duke Energy Florida has approximately 10,000 outages throughout our service territory. We actually have already restored about 16,000 outages so far today. Of course, those are direct impacts from the hurricane. Just to give perspective, Duke Energy Florida actually has about 2 million customers. Those customers uh, range from Highlands County to the south, coast to coast, and all the way up to the Florida Georgia border. Anna, what kind of an impact could this storm surge have on parts of the state's electrical system? The forecast is showing potentially up to 18 feet in some areas. So, so flooding, flooding is definitely, definitely one of our biggest concerns right, right now. Uh, obviously, we have underground infrastructure, but also wind because we have overhead lines. So what we are asking our customers to do, specifically those in areas who are, in fact, uh, potentially going to be flooded is to go go ahead and actually proactively turn off their breaker in the garage which means they're proactively turning off their power water and electricity do not mix so it's really important not just to protect themselves because it's a hazard to themselves but also protect their property and that means that if standing water is there during these floods and the electricity is on that could damage their property even further and potentially even cause a fire. And how have your crews been preparing for this storm? I am, I am so, so sorry. sorry. Could you say that again? And I'm wondering how your crews have been preparing for this storm. Well, it looks like we may have I'm lost so audio with Anna. <laughs> Anna Gibbs, I'm sorry that the audio is not. Anna, can you hear me now? Uh, I, I can, can, yes, I'm, I'm hearing, hearing you a little, little bit better now. now. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so can you just talk to me about how your crews have been preparing for this storm and trying to get ahead of it yeah, as best as they can? Absolutely. I'm so glad you asked that. If you consider all the resources that we have here in Florida and then add to all of those that we've been working with around the country, we have approximately 10,000 crews that are sitting here right now ready to respond to the storm. And those screws came from all over the country, from the Midwest, talking Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, the Northeast, as far away as Maine. We are so grateful for their assistance and they are staged throughout different locations in the state. They're far away from the storm in the sense that they're safe, but close enough that they can respond as safely and quickly as possible after that storm passes. So that's how we prepare and how we stage our both crews and materials so we can quickly respond. And, and I'm out of time, but really quick, what's your advice to people who lose power during this storm? Well, we do ask them to stay connected with us, whether it's through website, texting, or phone, so that can immediate update it to the outages that do occur and it can get updates as far as the restoration times to those outages. All right, Anna Gibbs from Duke Energy. We appreciate it, Anna, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.